Welcome back. Tonight we have part two of our exclusive chat with Dockers footy boss Peter Bell. He reveals how Frio planned to use their new unicorn and whether Nat Fife was pushed into giving up the captaincy. Give me a give me a number on how many goals Nat Fife kicks this year. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, I could do an over under. Yeah, <laughs> thirty nine and a half goals. Does he go over that? You're hoping he goes over. I'm hoping that. He, yeah. he goes over that, but it won't be measured in goals either. Yeah. Uh, the value of a player like Nat Fife, he's going to attract a good defender, mm. a very good defender. Um, Every week, he's going to cause a panic. We will use him in the midfield at times for sure. We'd be crazy not to. Um, he's a great aerialist. He's one of the toughest players I've ever seen play the game. Um, uh, and so I think he can be a real headache for opposition defences. With the captaincy, how did that go down? Because there has been some suggestion that maybe he was pushed. Um, we decided that the best thing for Nat to do at the end of last year with Nat was for him to go away, get the body right, uh, rejuvenate, refresh, all of those things, uh, which he did. Uh, and then from there we had some uh, had conversations about you know what's best for him, uh, not just right now while his body's good, but in the event if there was an injury or, um, or, or something else. There was never a stage where he came back and said, I'm feeling amazing, um, I think I should continue yeah. categorically. Um, it, 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 again, it's a, it's a discussion. Yeah. Um, and collectively, um, we got to a space where, I think it was the Sunday before he announced it, he, he rang the coach and just said, I've, I've, I've been thinking about this for a long time now and I am absolutely convinced that now is the right time. Tell me about Luke Jackson. So w what is he? I mean, the term <laughs> unicorn has been used to describe him. Mm -hmm. Is there a scenario this year where there's a centre bounce and Sean Darcy's rucking and Luke Jackson is standing next to Andy Brayshaw and Caleb Sarong mm -hmm. at the fall of the ball? Is that? Are we talking about endless possibilities with where this guy can be? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Um, Sean Darcy would point out also, is there a scenario where Luke's rucking <laughs> and Sean Darcy's sitting next to Andy I'd Brayshaw love, and Caleb Sarong? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's pretty strong <laughs> on that. Uh, I, look, the main roles that he will play will be ruck and forward. Yeah. Uh, but um, you know he he's got such great versatility to his game and attributes in his game where you know stints in the midfield may eventuate. Um, and we've certainly explored that over the preseason and it's looked pretty good. But we want to make sure that he can master those areas that he'll probably probably play the majority of time in. But we're not putting a, a limit on what's possible as well. I think he he's a very unique player, hence the the moniker.